I speak tonight for the dignity of man and the destiny of democracy. What happened in Selma is part of a far larger movement which reaches into every section of America. This bill will strike down restrictions to voting in all elections. Today we celebrate our noble tradition by signing our newest civil rights law, the National Voter Registration Act of 1993. Today we renew a bill that helped bring a community on the margins into the life of American democracy. I am proud to sign the Voting Rights Act, Reauthorization and Amendments Act of 2006. Young people are fired up about the 2008 election. Large numbers of African Americans are turning up at the polls in what could be a historic turnout among the nation's largest minority voting group. 11 o'clock on the East Coast, we can report history. Barack Obama is projected to be the next president of the United States of America. As the polls open from the east to the west across this country, the same picture continued to emerge. Eager voters showing up before the polls even opened, and in many cases, lines as far as the eye could see. This mathematically makes no sense in to some me. Of these Cheating has happened, happened in I don't side. believe it. I think this is voter fraud. Several new voting laws recently enacted in the United States. I think we've got a lack of voter integrity. That means our voting is not honest in this country. State after state can't point to a single instance of in-person voter not one. impersonation, not one. Name it for what it is. It's an attempt to repress minority voting, masquerading as an attempt to end corruption. It's an ID. Everyone has an ID. Voter ID, which is going to allow Governor Romney to win the state of Pennsylvania. Done. We cut Obama by 5%. And I think that probably voter ID had a, a helped a bit in that. Experts found that African American voters were nearly twice as likely to lack voter ID. Well, I think Hillary Clinton is about the weakest candidate the Democrats have ever put up. And now we have photo ID, and I think photo ID is going to make a little bit of a difference as well. These restrictions on voting are a direct response to the election of the nation's first African American president. We just got new metrics in. Donald J. Trump is the president of the United States elect. The new Presidential Commission on Election Integrity, established after President Trump, who lost the popular vote, insisted three to five million people voted illegally. Again, you don't have any hard physical evidence that this happened. More than 20 states say they can't or won't comply with this week's request for voter roll data. The American Civil Liberties Union is launching a 50-state campaign to restore Americans' voting rights. You know the issues of North Carolina voter ID. The Fourth Circuit issues a decision. They said it was clear that the intent was to target African Americans with, quote, surgical precision. The history of democracy in this country has never been a simple story of linear progress. We have overcome every moment of backlash, and we will overcome this one and move closer to a democracy in which everyone can participate and be treated equally.